Hi everyone, it's Alfie again with AC Constriction. I've got another video to show you today. We thought we'd go through some of our pie projects we've got going on this year. We're really excited to see how some of these turn out. If you've been following us closely, you probably know that we do love our pie stuff here, but we've got some great stuff to come. So thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy. So this is one of our pairings we've got going on this year. This is a fire possible gene X pied male breeding to a black pastel female. Now we're really excited about this pairing, sort of from a selfish point of view. <laughs> we're excited to keep back some of the black pastel fire combos that are all going to be 100% het pied. We're looking for some females from this clutch, but we'll take whatever we can get really. Uh, she's a really nice female as well, this black pastel. She's a really nice example of black pastel. And the fire boy, he is crazy. I really do think that he's going to turn out to be Genex. And after speaking with Justin, uh, and Christian, who we bought him from at Dorset Pythons, we all sort of have the same idea that he's going to be a Gene X boy in the end. So we're really excited about this pairing, and he's trying to get out the tub. But um, yeah, on to the next one. So one of the pairings we're really excited for this year is this Pied Possible Gene X girl. She's actually really deep in shed at the moment, so she probably doesn't look as good as she normally does, but she has also been bred to the fire possible Genex pied male. So fingers crossed, both of these actually do end up being Genex. And uh, she's, if she's not Genex, then she is just a really nice example of pied. Um, she's, her colors are through the roof. I mean, I'm not sure if the colors are really getting picked up by the camera too well, but she is absolutely superb. She loves her food. She has been locking a fair few times to that fire male. So fingers crossed we get a nice clutch from him, or her even with plenty of holdbacks as well. So fingers crossed they do prove out. She is also possible het hypo as well. So maybe down the road, we'll try and prove her out for hypo as well. On to the next one. So next is this orange dream female. She is a CB16, but she is an enormous girl. She's just under three kilos, I think now. And she does absolutely love her food, but She's been consistently breeding to the fire possible Gene X pied male as well. So we're really excited to see if we can get some orange dream het combos out of her. They will also be holdbacks for the future, but fingers crossed she does give, a, give us a good clutch. She is definitely building follicles. So hopefully in the next couple of months we might get an ovulation out of her, which would be brilliant. On to the next one. So in this tub is a banana pastel 100% het pied female. We're really excited to get her here. She's an absolutely powerhouse female and she does love her food. She's sitting at about 1800 grams now and has been consistently locking as well with the fire possible Gene X pied male. So we're hoping for some banana pied combos out of her and maybe even some banana het pied combos as well. If we can get a couple more banana het pied combo females, that would be absolutely brilliant. So fingers crossed, she gives us a nice clutch. She is producing or building really good follicles as well, and she's just stopped eating. So hopefully that's a good sign. Now this is a female we are really excited to have here. This is a pastel gene X double het clown pied female. Now she won't be breeding for us this year, but I couldn't resist showing her off. We got her from Gavin over at Balls to You, and she has been absolutely smashing Maltese since she's been here. So thank you very much for her, Gavin. We absolutely love her, and we're really excited to have her here. She is a, such a powerhouse female, and should really pave the way for AC Constriction over the coming years as we get further into the Clown Pie project, which is my favorite double recessive personally, but we'll see how that goes. Now, if she carries on going the way she's going, she definitely will be up to size for the 2020 season so fingers crossed she does we've got a really really special boy coming over from justin at jkr in march we're really excited about him i'm not going to tell you what he is yet i thought we might as well keep that as a surprise so excited to get him here excited to get them both up to size and ready to breed for next season now if you can see this the gene x really really brings out the yellow in this girl i'm not sure if the camera's doing a particularly good job Picking it, picking it up, but she's such a bright, bright female, and we're really excited for her and really pleased to have her here. So, thanks again, Gavin, and um, on to the next girl. So, this is the last female I'm going to show you today. 
and she is just a big dark hepide female. She has been breeding really well to the fire possible gene X pride boy as well so fingers crossed we get a couple of holdbacks from that clutch but she's a really nice girl she's really big as well I think she's sitting at about 2500 grams and she's well on her way to ovulation as well I don't know if you can just see that pre-swell coming through but fingers crossed she has a healthy clutch for us so if you're thinking of starting a pied project or to be fair this applies to any recessive project or any any project at all for that matter but what I would recommend doing is just sitting down and looking through Morph Market and having a look which combos you like the most. And just scroll through and see what is on the market at the moment and that will give you a good idea of prices as well so you know what your budget is and what you can and can't buy. But it gives you a really good idea of which direction you want your projects to go in and what combos you want to aim for. It's always important to have a goal and have a plan and stick to it really. I think it's really good if you can pick maybe two or three different pied combos that you're shooting for first and then you can maybe advance as you go forward if that makes sense. So definitely have a look at Morph Market first. For example, one of the things that I really liked, and I think everyone likes to be honest, is the Chin X Pieds. Now they are out of this world and unfortunately they are a little bit difficult to tell sometimes if things are Gen X or aren't Gen X, unless it's really night and day. But what I did was I decided to go out and buy a couple of possible Gene X pies. So that's what we did. And we're really excited about those. Now, there are a couple of things when you're looking at pies that you should avoid. So things like uh, super yellow belly or ivory is a white snake. So although that's a very powerful genetic snake, it doesn't look the best because it's just a white snake, unless that's what you're after. But for me, an ivory pied unless I wanted it for some sort of project purpose, I probably wouldn't be chasing just because it's it's a white snake and it's almost not worth the, uh, the effort, if that makes sense, because you can get a white snake a little bit easier than that. So when it comes to which pie projects I would personally recommend, it sort of depends on which route you want to go. So if you're looking at the darker side of pies, then I would recommend something along the lines of uh, black pastel or cinnamon they both go really well with pied and make a really dark pattern snake um, something you also have to think about with those though is they generally throw quite high white babies so that's something else to consider but on the opposite end of the spectrum if you're looking to increase the amount of pattern in your pieds uh, Enchi is really the best way to go uh, Enchi generally throws really low white uh, snakes so if you're looking for to add more pattern to a mutation, to a pied mutation, then Enchi is always the way to go. Uh, when it comes to the other mutations, most of them are neutral, so even though things like um, Yellow Belly and Fire, you will see high white versions of that snake, generally it's a neutral uh, mutation, so you'll also see the other end of the spectrum and you'll see really low white Yellow Bellies and Fires. So that's something else to keep in mind. Now, also, uh, another thing to keep in mind is making sure that you don't produce a completely white pied, unless that's what you're after. Like we were talking about earlier, the super yellow belly, which is obviously an ivory, that in pied is a completely white snake. There's also a couple of other versions of that. So super fire is a sim similar principle, um, but just the normal, so this isn't the super version, uh, lesser Pied is a completely white snake. Uh, Spied isn't completely white, but generally just the head is a pattern, or has pattern on it, sorry. Uh, but if that's what you're after, that's definitely a good route to go. People love Spieds, I love Spieds. Um, another one maybe to think about is Spot Nose, that tends to throw a really high white snake, sometimes completely white, but it depends, you know, luck of the draw sometimes really. Uh, but that's generally the rules, just generally the rule of thumb of working with pieds. So keep those in mind, but before you buy any anything, before you decide which route you want to go down, just make sure you do your research, you know, like, like I said earlier, make sure you have a look through Morph Market, and if not, uh, World of Ball Pythons, their morph list is crazy. So definitely do your research first, but uh, things to look out for as well are uh, Orange Dream Pieds, they're unbelievable. That's one of the things I'd like AC Constriction to get into down the road. 
is really focus our pie collection on Orange Dream. So maybe we'll make that change in the next year or two, but I just love it. I think it's brilliant and I think it trumps most other pies to me anyway. Um, that and the GeneX stuff. I mean, GeneX Orange Dream pies are insane. Uh, Super Orange Dream as well. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, I hope this helps. I hope, it, I hope it's helped someone out there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions at all, make sure to um, either DM us on Instagram at AC Constriction, or you can head over to our website at uh, www.acconstriction.co.uk and um, you can find our email address on there, which is, uh, I might as well say it on here, <laughs> acconstriction at gmail.com. Um, and make sure to like us on Facebook, uh, which is AC Constriction as well. So thank you very much for joining in and thank you very much for watching. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and head over to our other social media platforms and I'll see you next week.